So I've drug you to my bath because I'm going to do one of my favorite things to detox and it's taking a detox bath. Now the simple way is to just get yourself either Epsom salts, which is nice and inexpensive, or mineral salts, which they charge you a little more for in the health food store or online. And the difference between the two is they're very similar really. Um, this is really great for muscle, muscle relaxation and, and it only has magnesium in it. It is magnesium salt. This is really dried sea salt and it has other, other minerals in it including um, magnesium, potassium, sodium, calcium, bromide, and trace minerals. So I guess they're allowed to charge a little more for it and it's a little more natural. But I don't always have that around and I sometimes just go to the Rite Aid and grab this and after yoga, if my body hurts, I take a nice soak. Now, I'm going to up it a little bit today because I haven't been feeling that great. My shoulder's really bothering me and I actually just got some pine essential oil, which is a natural analgesic and anti-inflammatory. So I'm going to put it in the bath. Um, and I also am going to show you in another video how to make sort of a, 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 a wrap for using this to help your sore muscles. And my son has a sprained wrist, so we're going to use that on him. But anyway, I wanted to add it in my bath today. And then I was really interested in kind of taking the detox another step further. Um, I'm going to do um, some seaweed in here and just throw everything at it. Do some seaweed in here. And... Uh, hydrogen peroxide, and pine oil. So I'm gonna do whatever I have left in this, my sort of better stuff, which is not quite as much as I would like for today. So I'm gonna dump that in, um, and then I'll add some of my less expensive Epsom salts, okay? So we'll put that in here. Just like another half a cup. You wanna do like one to two cups of the salt. You know, two is when you're trying to really get it going. Now this is just something I grabbed because again, I wasn't feeling so great. And seaweed is such a great detoxifier. Pulls out a lot of heavy metals. So that seemed like a good idea right now when I'm having my shoulder bothering me, although that's really a muscle injury, but Sometimes things get stuck in the body because you're not 100% clean. Um, so I'm gonna put this in here, and of course, it's not letting me open it right this very second. I'm probably gonna have to get a scissors for that, but it's pretty straightforward. You dump it in. Um, I think that'll be a good addition for today. And then I'm gonna take about half of this, it's full right now. And again, I'm also trying to deal with my candida. So not only is this, a great, great, great detoxifying bath. It's going to be an anti-candida bath. Um, and the same with my baking soda. Of course, you get it without aluminum and you pour it in. And again, you want like, you want one to two cups. Let's really get it going. So, Oh, one of my extra, my sort of special ingredient for today that I'm trying for my shoulder is this pine oil. And this is also, you know, I got really interested in it because again, it is like turpentine. It is turpentine. Um, turpentine would be the less expensive way to do it, but maybe the scarier way to do it. But it's a great anti-inflammatory and natural analgesic. So doesn't that sound pretty awesome? Sounds pretty great to me. And again, I'm gonna do this for my son later with his wrist, so. All right, and one other thing before I dive in here, I didn't want to take off my clothes to do this, but I do have my dry brushing, and I do love to just kind of get it all going. You know, same with this. You want to go all the way up. Brush it towards your heart. Get the blood going. Yeah, this is what they do in those Korean day spas and spend again, 
what, 200 bucks, 300 bucks for an all day day spa and you know, hop in your tub. Buy one of these at the supermarket, do it yourself. And this really does get the circulation going. It's great for cellulite. It's great for your lymph nose and that's what you're always trying to move. You do your whole body, you know, you do your stomach, kind of get it, get it all, you do your entire body and I will do that in a second. By the way, you can also use one of these sort of textured washcloths or anything that, that'll work for you. So I'm gonna get going. I'm actually gonna um, continue to pour a little more of this in here. Gosh, I wish you could see it. It's making this like amazing concoction. Hold on. Let me, uh, let me also add a little, and let me tilt this down for you to see what it's doing down there. So I'm glad I'm taking the step to do this because I actually don't like when these sorts of things get stuck in the bottom of my bath. So I am gonna use the bag. Oops, yep, already spill a little bit, but I am gonna use the bag and fill this up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off now. Um, one more thing. You do not want to wash this off your body. You want to leave it on, just pat it dry with a towel and leave it on to air dry over the day and leave all these wonderful things on your skin, okay?